Hello, I'm Boni Sinte and today I'll be answering some of the most asked questions in design. Let's go. Product design is actually solving the right user problems. How much can I earn as a beginner product designer? Product designers do trash talk about developers. How crucial is it to have an online personal brand as a designer? Pursuing a career in design has been one of the best decisions of my life. A bit about myself, uh, I come from the beautiful state of Assam in the Northeast and have been living in Bangalore since the last two years. Uh, I started my uh, career as a product designer at Airtribe as an intern almost three years back. Um, later on got the full-time opportunity and since then I've been here. When I joined, except for the founders, there was only one more engineering intern who had just joined a couple of weeks back. So yeah, that was it. Only four of us two interns and two founders. Fun fact about me, I love football. I actually love watching football. Uh, my favorite football club is FC Barcelona. I have been watching football since I was a very little kid. Uh, as uh, the passion for the game is ingrained in my family, I actually take it from my mom. That's all you need to know about me. Let's get started with some questions now. Shall we? Why does every product designer hate Canva so much? Wow. Um, I think uh, designers don't hate Canva. It's non-designers who'd create designs or use, you know, generic templates uh, to create a design and proclaim themselves to be as good as, you know, graphic and visual designers. That is something I feel which pisses off most designers. Uh, I, I definitely feel it's a great skill to have as you get started, but uh, the comparison is not fair in my opinion and uh, when it comes to also pushing your creativity and you know pushing the limits of your creativity there are much more powerful tools like Figma and Adobe which can really help you uh, be much better at your craft. Yeah, I think it's mostly the people and not the tool. Can anyone become a product designer? Uh, in my opinion anyone can become a product designer uh, as long as you truly understand and love the craft and have the right skill sets, regardless of your qualifications or background. Uh, I myself am a, a self-taught product designer and I did my BSc in botany, which has no connection whatsoever with product design or design in general. Uh, but yeah, uh, I had to take a leap of faith, uh, although I had no clue whether or not I'll make it. But uh, looking back, I think uh, pursuing a career in design has been one of the best decisions of my life so far. So yeah, I do believe if you can, if I can do it, you can definitely do it. How much can I earn as a beginner product designer? Uh, I hope I don't set the wrong expectations, uh, but uh, I think you can live a very comfortable life in an expensive city like Bangalore. So yeah, you do make good money, uh, but uh, and also it depends company to company. But if I have to guess or you know just benchmark it uh, the average starting salary package would be around 8 to 10 LPA yep. do product designers trash talk about developers I hope this doesn't get me into trouble but yes yes product designers do trash talk about developers uh, I mean not trash talk exactly but yeah there are times when there is friction there are times when you're really frustrated with the kind of feedback that that you receive during handoff, such as maza nahi aya, feel nahi aara. Let me tell you a joke. So imagine if you want your product to look like a government website, what would you do? You should let the developers design it. But I think at the end of the day, it's an interdependent relationship. So you should always maintain a good relationship with your developers or your colleagues. So yeah, moving on to the next question. Uh, how crucial is it to have an online personal brand as a designer? Okay, um, this might come off as an irony because I don't do a lot of personal branding myself. But I do believe, I do strongly believe that uh, it does increase your visibility and makes you more noticeable in the community. Uh, I have so many good designer friends who have got really good opportunities uh, because of the work that they have put out on platforms like LinkedIn or Twitter. So yeah, I think it does help uh, uh, to make you stand out in such a competitive landscape. 
uh, and I also feel it's not just specific to design per se. It's equally crucial for all other professions. So yeah, I think it is quite important, but I don't do it and I'm guilty. What do you do to tackle creative block? Um, I think immediately detaching and taking some time off and kind of moving away from whatever you're doing and focusing on something else for a little while and coming back to it really helps in my case uh, in kind of overcoming my creative slump. And I think, yeah, in general, moving away, taking small breaks, going on a tea break or just going on a walk does help. So, yep, that's it. What's the biggest myth about product design? Okay, that's a good question. Um, a lot of people think that product design is basically just, you know, creating beautiful interfaces or making things look pretty. But let me get this straight. Product design is actually solving the right user problems. Imagine you have really fancy designs and really good looking designs, but if it's not solving the right problem, then I think it's an ultimate failure. And I believe that most people get it wrong, but uh, and call us, you know, uh, pixel pushers or we color blocks and stuff. But again, it all comes down to if you're solving the right problem with a creative approach, then you're a good designer. And that is what product design means. So yeah, that's one myth broken today. Whew. We are down to the last question. So what's one thing you hate about product design? Uh, the fact that everyone has an opinion on your designs, no matter what the background is, uh, which is, again, fair because uh, design is a very subjective field. Everyone will have their own opinions and perspectives and views. But make sure when you're giving feedback to a designer, uh, you know, make sure to uh, keep it constructive, give it in a constructive manner so that you don't leave us designers hanging. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. I think I'll have to leave now. Yes, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.